it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I finally get used to have my own place. That's uh, great to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold some evidence for you, don't you? <laughs> Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. Gotcha! So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue for Pinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. Yeah, you always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis! Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you. p.m. Fay and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Well, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, oh, oh. You're not a configurist. Are you not configurist of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I should have been more ca- I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Faye. I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Banco Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Yes, the chief left without me. Sesame's sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's 
that smell. Blood? Why? Oh, she's in her office. That smell, blood. <laughs> Sis. Someone's there. Huh? Chief, chief, chief. Who are you? Strange girl lot uh, out cold. I left her lying on the off sofa. I went back to check the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. Feel it while I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. So finally, she was cold. Busted with dry blood. Not ironic, this is the murder of black men. Again.
She didn't run on, run on me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya Faye? So Maya was uh, writing this girl's name. You know, maybe I should show her the receipt. I'm not gonna be more evidence like this at like four now. We'll talk first. You are the chief. So, you're the chief. Sister! I'm the younger sister! And you were here, isn't it? This way to the ice? Oh, you were here with the she said she wants me to keep the evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. Sister Maya was arrested on the spot. 
I was taken for oxygen and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. So I around, waiting for the an hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you! Lamar! Good morning! Good morning? I should finish and not be saying it in that cheerful. Junior's partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! Ah, so it crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those struck fear into the hearts of evil types. One of the things he lacked in is experience. Sounds like it was fun! So I know where to go for if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you! No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. Why think of the person who did this to Maya? I know. Maya. There's someone that wants to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? All acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you can say. Acolytes, but people in religious hate and raining? Is that what you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm sure they're called what's strange. Here's the crime. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! Evidence? Yeah, that clock shoot is like a finger. The one Larry made. How can that have been evidence in the case? Uh, right. There's something about that. I remember! You want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes! Recorded it? Yeah! Now I'm gonna, oh, to delete those things. Your spirit medium, so that will talk to us So you're an apple, a, er, medium, it's 
training. That's right. The Free family, especially the woman, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said a Fey family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her brothers were first class too. I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So, you're a real awesome good spirit and all that. Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? Just ask her who killed her. I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I can do something on that level. That's not going to be too easy. Your cell phone. So you say you can have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. I thought I saved a type of gun for your last report. Alright, you know, so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Grossberg Law Offices. For the receptionist, the big boss is out. Couldn't say when he'd be back. It'd be hard to keep 
track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. Guess I'll just have to come back later. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil painting is crap that is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to see that either, for that matter. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves are the expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant elbow in case, if I'm not mistaken, that light turner is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. Expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go to the law offices, maybe? September 6th, Bain Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey! Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal! No trespassing! Oh, I'm sorry. You don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, uh, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix, right? How can I mistake me for Larry? Oh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was, proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, I saw this. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go uh, call me Dick. Hey, Dick, over here. Y y yes, sir. Be right there. Uh, <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? We got uh, business here, you better do it quick. Who do you think's my lawyer? Huh? Um, you want to know the results, eh? No, don't you go look at me like that, pal. It's no use. You might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Oh, that's alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Why is Octopus report? Octopus report added to the courtroom. The report record. How Jack? Nine. Oh, that's the date! Okay. At the 9 p.m. causing about four seconds of the case. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why, why would you say that? City's prosec put prosecutor Edward on the prosecution. Edward. I'm sure you know what that means, being a liar and all. Prosecutor Edward. That's what, pal. Miles, Miss Miles Edward himself. Wait, you know, you do know him, don't you? you? Never, never heard of him. 
Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, the small Edward guy became prosecutor and he's trolling. I'm going to the truth. Parts you don't know about him. Doesn't look like he's here. So we'll, okay, we'll go to the Gatewater Hotel then. Time for six, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Wow, hello there, handsome! Thank <laughs> you. 
inside the drawer. to 
Bailey's office. Hmm. So I guess Rothberg is out. Well, maybe we should just wait for him here for him to come back. Ahem. That wasn't the most over top clearance pro I've ever heard. Ah, oh, oh, so you're the one they say he has been looking for me. Um, yes, that's me. That's even grander than I meant. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. Oh, what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not oh, busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You have to see the one and only Marvin Goosebug, did you not? Well, hurry around, boy. What do you want? Out with it! Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, my fae. Hmm? Ah, yes. My fae. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Cha-cha. Uh, uh, I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go on taking cases on a day so No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How do you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, ahem. Anyway. On the fact it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? What the painting? Ah, you've noticed. It's about her to join. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hats. That's worth a lot of I have no intention of parting with that, of course. No one will sell it. Not even to you. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. How did you know my affair? She left here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission to see. A mission? You can see it in her eyes. Followed it with a bird of passion. Never looked back at that one. You're okay. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Mm -hmm. eh, <laughs> well, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see. Never since you ever. But the client is my uh, face sister. But the client is my face sister. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I trust you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Fine. Fine. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I'm afraid that no lawyer worth, lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? What's going on here? Center.
summer six, free fort week two p.m. detention center or visitors room. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um. Well, what do I tell her? Well, let's see. Just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He he doesn't seem healthy. He's all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? I see. I've been abandoned then. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little alone now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Yep. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? I've made up my mind. But I'm about to defend you whether you want to or not. Why? Why? Well... You aren't the culprit. Someone else is. How do you know? I, uh, I have a hunch. Uh, evidence of the issue of the in the mile. Thank you. Thank you. 
Pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Oh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the er uh, facility. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no. Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah! You, you came back quick! Why to ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Court phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Court? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Mia's mother. Could it be a coincidence? that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap onto the court There's definitely something suspicious about this this May. Aren't she in something like this? No. There's a star behind all this. I know it. Alright. Although you said this is a smart trial, that's for sure. For my sake. I'll get to this woman's book at some point coming. You know what I mean. Hello, Bellboy! Still there? Uh oh, time's around. I'll be working with you tomorrow, let's say. I'm in court. Court. A.M. Just for courtroom number one. What is now in such of the trial of this mile? The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. George, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant is Martha was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. Hello, 
witness saw her do it. Plus, some of the step facts of the case are on her. I see. I see. That girl was the Edward. Let us be gone. You make her first witness, Your Honor. Prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicide in the town of the Princeton, sir. Uh, detective Gumshoe. Let's start from the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the officer to play. But it was found in this window here. On the cause of in the cause of death. Let's watch and extract down what object, sir. The mother went and was sent a picture saw next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly mode, even on a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. Still calling it a statue. The four plans add to the court record. No, detective. Y yes, sir? You immediately arrested Miss Martha, who was found at the scene of the crime, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir! I had hard ever she did it, sir. Hmm, detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Okay. As soon as the phone came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Martha, and the lawyer, Mr. Philip Wright. I'm really rushed to Miss Martha. What? We had an encounter, a witness account to stop with them. The witness saw the sniping at the very moment of the murder. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Cross-examination? What? A single condition in that testimony. Smack! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? Will my sister clarify any contradictions in any contradiction witness testimony? She would bluff and impress the witness on every detail. The witness always lets up and says something wrong. Heard lots of times. I should have expected my own no some of his tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross examination. Just one second. You, yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did, did I say that, man? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this one? Prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the monster with her own eyes. Let the witness.
this April May take the sun? Exactly what part of her is innocent? Remarkably solid testimony. I do not need to trouble the witness any. W wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What could it possibly be this time? What about my cross examination? I thought it was the sun. Well, it's just quite foreign, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you're Miss. Martha is understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way, if I tell you any fault, and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross examination the witness? I will gladly proceed with the cross examination! Only because I feel an Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. It was like 9 at 9. I looked out the window, you know? Testimony stinks. Wh what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet you saw nothing. Did you really? 
really see the defendant at all? So <laughs> right, what's the meaning of this? Please, they're causing an uproar in court. Yes, what's the meaning? Stop telling me because I'm clueless about... About this, I mean. Okay. You really had witnessed my client, my affair. You all knows her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wants clothes these days like this on a daily basis except her. But I'm no expert on fashion, but her character looks far from normal to me. However, what is this going on to neither of these things? The testimony is bogus. She was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. Associate Detective Gumtree. What do you say to that, Miss Bay? Sir, what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just can't see. All the tranquil little details were necessary, darling. Miss Bay. I would like to remind you to please admit nothing from your testimony. Otherwise, it makes you valid, but I'm going to give you another try because I don't know why. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. We stop thinking. So I draw her. Yeah, I guess that's a just murder for kill woman. You have testimony again, if you would. I almost had her. Details from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. Yeah, this girl was friends. First attack I ran off to the right. Four plants. Well, it didn't look at me, Mr. Lawyer. 
player. You can't win them all. No, but I feel like I'm onto something now. Mr. Wright, I must admit, no, my cases have gone on quite this long. You're doing excellent. I mean, 
impressive job. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. But indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock removed? The most accurate witness heard the clock, that there is no contradiction. That's true. That's a possibility. The clock must have been empty after she heard it. That is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Um, impossible, of course. No, that. I have proof. Take that as a stupid face of word. What? No, that can't be. I'm sure that wasn't possible. Wasn't you told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence proves when the clock removed is... Take that! Take a look at this. That's a very cool song. That's a very cool song. Are you having this right? Oh, you have a girly phone! Wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone and contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Walter, Walter. The defendant's cell phone was brought to my attention. Perhaps. Detective Young Show overlooked it. After all, he gave me a false yard. So it's totally possible. The good detective better remember his upper evaluation. That's it, I'm starting to feel bad for the people. Let's hear the conversation. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold you to a thinker then, if you could. Oh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I should take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 9... 9... 27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it quite clear that the clock is already gone. Well, the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Uh -huh. Well, Miss May, do you care to explain this to the court? Just how do you know that weapon was a clock? Well, is it obvious? I saw that clock before. I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Please. So the witness has seen it before. That would make sense. The defense of an objection is right. Yes. It was plain she has seen it before. But this general constitution evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. The one that isn't here. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went short. For a better excuse. Uber. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm not even gonna do that. What's the tea you pork and pie, Mad? That's too much to the matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for a die! to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a claw. Am I wrong? I, I... Objection! Your honor, this is highly ridiculous. Your honor, look at the witness face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? <laughs> Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, lo you, you lawyer. Oh, so I'm a bad girl, 
Is that it? Is that it? And now she's crying. After that, the court seemed to reel in the same way now. How to deal with the final blow? Why the wiretap? Why did you tape her phone? Answer the question. Do, do I have to? Is it the same thing? Do you have it? Is the tippy tappy here? Oh. I hardly call that irrelevant. Well, the court is not familiar with that his tone of voice. You can pause a point. Very well, Miss Ray. You have an explanation for the court. You can have to do with the court, even though you can't talk about it. What does Sarah to pull that off? No way. Wait, I say, wait. Oh, I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Okay, hmm. so the killing happened around nine at night. My master's when I was in room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee. I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. Only stuff in the high rate mood. Oh, and no. If you don't drink it, uh, it quits the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, ice or coffee? They can make them yourself as the bellboy. Oh, God, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So where does that leave us? It was my great displeasure to inform you. But when this appears to have been taken the victim's cell However, that is a separate crime with no bearing to the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant uh, a fake commit murder. No, they're trying to just let her walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie this one fate to the murder somehow. Well, then it's no defense have anything to say. Well, come on, think of something. Testimony. Clara's mind will be 
the jumping on the spot. What should I do? may begin this cross-examination. Right, I'm ready, I hope. This is it. If I can prove this man was involved with the murder now, I will be finished. Wait, please, wait! Yeah, so that's the defense of someone's 
one last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your Honor, I must object. This parade of injustice and justice has gone long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edward. Alright, Mr. Ryan, I'm going to give you one more question. I'm wrong. Okay. Really, now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? are ludicrous. Enough. Uh, enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Uh, 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 yes, your honor. That is all for today for the trial of my affair. Court is adjourned. September 7th to 10th.
22 and 24 p.m. Strict Court Defense Lobby Number One. It's all right. Tomorrow for some. Bye.